All right. Welcome on in, everybody. It's 1230 here on the West Coast. Means it's 330 out there for you on the East Coast. We got another fun one. Had some inception just a little while ago, and now we got three cases of Bowman Sterling on the player break format. We're going to be running one continuous video. That way everybody can get ready to enjoy the new year. So strap on in. It's going to be a bumpy ride. See if we can see some big uh, Chirio or Jackson Holiday autos. All right. Good luck to you, everyone. Not the funnest boxes to deal with. <laughs> but deal with them we shall. All right. I almost want to open up all three cases at once, but that would be just a giant mound of Bowman Sterling. So, all right, let's get into it. Hope everybody's having a good day out there. If you're not, hopefully this break will turn things around and make it a better day for you. Let's see some super fractor action. That's always the goal. See some nice supers. And get going. Ah, uh, sorry, Jordan. Well, that either is going to work out into your favor or the exact opposite. So <laughs> either it could be a blessing in disguise. It's so weird opening this compared to um, museum collection with these little with these little packs, you know. All right, we're gonna start it off with a speckle auto to 99 of Lazaro Montez. That's not a terrible way to start. 63 out of 99. Chirillo, Fernandez, and Lawler on the base. The knife did not do the job. I guess it's sharpening time again. Good lord. Look at that. It's the strongest plastic on the face of the earth. All right, we got Sterling Silver to 100 going out to the Crawford spot. 35 out of 100 right there for the Crawford spot. And our ink. Nice Quero right there on the base ink. Marilyn Williams on the base. But good to see you as always, Jordan, hanging out with us here on New the day before New Year's Eve day. <laughs> oh, Redemption. Those are usually good names. Groshans on the base, Ruiz, Ohapi, Gutierrez, and Crawford. And our Redemption, we've seen Churio, Crawford, some pretty good names. You are due to receive a prospect wave. That's to 125 on the auto of Justin Crawford. There you go for the Crawford spot. Getting you on the board easy on the nice wave auto to 125. Some Brooks Lee action. Let's see if we can find it. We usually do find Brooks Lee in these, in these breaks. It seems like we're gonna have, you usually get a lot of double and triple ups. Ooh, we got orange. Lazaro Montez, Grissom, Baez, and Moreno on the base. So that means we got an extra card in here. Our speckle, no, this is the mini diamond to 150. Miguel Vargas, nice for the Vargas spot. And then we got orange ink, should be to 75. Nice Eric Brown Jr. auto. 26 out of 75 for the Brown spot. Yeah, I love the parallels in this. It's been a while since I've opened it. Outstanding job with like, can you see how like all the looks like planetary alignments and stuff going on in there? So really enjoy this product. We've got our Vargas. We got a refractor to 199 for the Libertor spot. And our ink is the wave to 125 of Simon Wan. On the waved 
Simon Juan, 27 out of 125. Congratulations. And our last base is Johnson and Steer. And that wraps up box numero uno. Steer and Zavala. Well, let's see. Let's see some Spencer Steer this time. I know we didn't see a lot of them in uh, Inception, so hopefully, hopefully he shows up tenfold in this break for you. I do uh, remember, recall though that the rookie autographs were a lot fewer and far between in this because it is a Bowman Sterling, a Bowman product. So we're going to see a, probably a, I want to say a three or four to one ratio, but. They do show up, just not as prominent. Ooh, we got a high-tech card already, and this should be numbered to 99. Riley Green, very nice. Love the high-techs. 60 of 99 right there. Very nice hit right there for the green spot. And then behind him, we had an auto of Alex Ramirez. Yankeel and Lawler. And those high techs usually fall about two per case. Hopefully we can buck the trend though. See like three or four. The numbered versions of them look so cool. Yes, I definitely like to pull Neto. Hopefully. I've already put Quero up on the board even though he's not an angel anymore. But uh, yeah, definitely like pulling some Neto ink. Sammy Munoz right there. Gonzalez, Beck, and Holiday on those base cards. Looks like base ink of Mason Hour. Rose Gold Cabrera to complete the rainbow. Come on, I hope so, man. That would be cool. That would be cool to complete it for you. Volpe Base. Base Ink of Jet Williams. Some Rose Gold. Uh, base card or autograph? I don't remember if the base cards have Rose Gold or is it just the autos. It's been a while since I opened this and there's so many parallels. Oh, we got another redemption. Wow. Get through our base here. Are we going to see a double Crawford? Or are we going to see some Chirio? Who's it going to be? Oh, no, Xavier Isaac was a redemption in this, too. A speckle. That is $2.99, I get, if I remember. A speckle of, yep, Xavier Isaac. There we go, putting the Isaac spot on the board as well. On the Speckle Auto, I think these are to 99. I can't remember. It's been a while. Should be to 99 on the Speckle. Very nice for the Xavier Isaac spot. Yeah, already on that board. Already on the board with the Jet Williams. Okay, Cabrera only has autos. Then we just hit a Jet. Yeah, we just hit a Jet Williams. Just hit that Jet Williams for you. So chances are you will probably see another one. Usually if you see a base or a numbered, you get the vice versa, at least from what we opened of this prior. It happened quite often where if you got a base auto, you'd get a number auto. We'll see if that uh, trend continues in these cases. We got a mini diamond of, ooh, nice, to 150 on the Nolan Gorman rookie mini diamond. And our ink going out to the Churio brother, Jason Churio, Velasquez and Groshans. So hopefully we can see his older brother on some ink. Ooh, we 
got gold. Gold to 50. Kyle Stowers on the gold refractor. 36 out of 50. And then we got a Sterling Silver Auto behind him to 100. Another Cuero. See what I mean? We've seen the base already. 39 out of 100 for the Cuero spot on the auto. Like the golds though. Look at that. That is some good, good refractoring. Refractoring? Yeah. Probably not a real word, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It's my show. I do what I want. <laughs> Ooh, orange. Orange to 75 ink again. Willie Fanas for the Fanas spot. 11 out of 75. Yeah, depth that's such a deep, rich color in the Bowman Sterling. The orange, the gold, all of them. They definitely did not uh, chintz out on the ink. They did real good putting a lot of that thick coating on there. Refractor, Cam Collier to 199, and base ink of Henry Bolt. Some ink there for the Bolt spot, and a nice refractor there for Cam Collier. Mitchell and Brown on the base. Ooh, we got ooh, we got a double auto pack because that right there is the Bowman. Uh, oh God, what's it called now? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, base ink of Reggie Crawford and behind him, eighty-five out of ninety-nine, Anthony Gutierrez on the Sterling Opulence. That's what it is on the Opulence autograph. These are so nice. Highest numbering of which is to ninety-nine for the Gutierrez spot, and it was a bonus auto in here. That's cool. We'll take some extra autos. Thank you once again, Tops. Young and Colos on the base. Knife has been used a lot today. Come on, come on. Let's see that rose gold or red refractor. We got Brooks Lee right there, Lerome warming up already. 67 to 199 on the refractor. And Abel Bastidas on the base ink. So we already got some numbered action on the board for you on the Lee spot. Hopefully, we can see some ink real soon. Explicit, what's going on? Good afternoon, sir. We've got a mini diamond to 150 of Cade Cavalli and base ink of Josue DePaula behind him. Yeah, I like the mini diamonds in this too. They're like so much stronger than in Topps Chrome. Very, very like standout-ish compared to Topps Chrome. I guess because there's less picture. There's less player and picture going on, so there's just more background for it to shine. But I do like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get out of the way. Base Ink of Edinson Paulino. Sterling Silver of Jackson Merrill to 100 and Refractor Ink to 150 of William Bergola. 20 out of 150 for the Bergola Ink. And 27 out of 100 on the Merrill. 
Ruiz and Alvarez on the base. Ooh, there's a good color. There's a good color. That, is that magenta? Oscar Gonzalez to 75. I like the magenta. Love the way that looks. On the magenta refractor. Very nice looking card. And base ink of Drew Gilbert behind him. I got to remember all the colors in this because they're... Some guys have parallel, they have parallels, but not autos of some colors. Like orange uh, only has autograph parallels. It's another one of those fun filled sets for us as breakers. <laughs> We're like, uh, what is this again? Another magenta to 75. This one is going to the Sammy Munoz spot. Wow, another redemption. That's three already in this case. Nice Sammy Munoz right there on the magenta. And our redemption. You are due to receive a Sterling Opulence autograph of Drew Jones. Very nice. Nothing, uh, I don't think we've ever pulled Drew Jones. If we had, it was very fleeting. Drew Jones spot, congrats on the Opulence Auto. That uh, is the base auto, so should be numbered to 99. Super cool. Two Opulence Autos in this case already. We And, and just so guys, so guys, so you know, like some of these, um, these cases were absolutely ridiculous when we uh, the product first came out. Like we had multiple cases that had multiple thousand dollar hits in it so uh was a very fun product to open refractor of riley green on the rookie card 132 of 199 and base ink of gavin cross stowers and camonero so yeah just i mean for a refractor it just looks way better than any other refractors that are out there as the out of this product i really do like it There's Volpe and Burleson, and we got Refractor Ink to 150 of Ricardo Cabrera. Is this the Cabrera? I'm assuming this Cabrera, right, Adam? It's not the rose gold, but... Because, yeah, I don't believe he has base cards in this. Unless it's a different Cabrera, there's probably more than one. 96 out of 150 on the Cabrera Ink. And our base... Base ink of Tucker Tillman, Gorman and Cavalli base. Speckle to 99 of Sammy Zavala and base ink of Rain Doncone. Muncie and Parada on those base cards. A little Zavala action right there for you. 50 of 99.
Another magenta to 75. There we go. There's some netto action. No ink yet, but we got you a nice refractor, 15 of 75, and base ink behind. Wow, another Cabrera. So Cabrera doubling up real quick in back-to-back -back boxes on the base ink. And there's a nice Zach Neto. Young and Colas. Base ink, but there he is again. Sammy Zavala, this time on the ink. They show up in bunches. Ooh, is that black lava? Is that black lava to 10? Oh, it is. Oh, and I see St. Louis. Is this Gorman? Oh, look at that. Nice hit right there for the Gorman spot. 7 out of 10 on the Black Lava. My absolute favorite parallel ever made. Oh, <laughs> nasty hit right there for the Gorman spot. Love the Black Lava. I like this card. And then on the Refractor Inc., Anthony Gutierrez. So Gutierrez doubling up in this case as well. On the opulence and now the refractor ink. Nasty Nolan Gorman, man. Oof. Beautiful card. I love this card right here. Garrett Mitchell and Brown on the base. I wish I'd have, I would have took him more in breaks. I think Nolan Gorman is going to be pretty good for a long time. Gold. And it's going to be ink. To 50, Alex Ramirez doubling up as well. 42 of 50 on the gold Alex Ramirez to go along with that base ink. So yeah, this product, a lot of fun to open. Just, and it's very rare to get a case that doesn't have like a bunch of really good cards in it. Base ink, Anthony Gutierrez tripling up now in the case. Gutierrez spot, you've had a good break already, even if you don't show up in two more cases. Congratulations to the Gutierrez spot. All right, to the past, getting into the halfway point finally of the first case. Totally missed it. <laughs> Had three places for that thing to land and didn't hit any of them. With the rebound. <laughs> refractor, nice for the Gunnar Henderson spot. 153 out of 199 on the refractor. And our base ink is going to be Joshua Baez on the base ink. Nice Gunner. Peraza and Gorman base. Uh, and I, if I remember correctly, the rookies average about three or four per case uh, on the base cards, that is. So if your spot has base cards, you should get about four, three or four in every case. Sterling Inc. to 100. Zach Neto, there we go. Put that Neto spot on the board. That's what I'm talking about. Mark. Hey, did you get that one one yet of him? Congratulations, pulling you something early there, Mark, on Neto. Nah, he's definitely one of my faves, him and Ohapi, going into this new season. On the wave to 125, see, with Rookie Inc. There we go, the over Paguero spot. 23 out of 125 on the wave autograph. Very nice. It's on the way. I was so tempted to message you, dude, and see if you would part with, like, trade for it. <laughs> but I was like, no, nah, I know he's an Angels fan like I am. So he's one of those guys that's going to want that card to look at all the time. 
Sterling Silver to 100, Gutierrez spot. And Cole Young on the base auto. We'll see if we can get that Araya spot going for you. I'm still trying to pull the uh, the Halloween one of one Zach Neto. That's why I keep buying update blasters. Like I'm, a, I actually pulled the uh, one of one parallel of Gio Urshela and was like, come on. Oh, just a Neto fan. Okay. Oswald Peraza out of 150 on the mini diamonds. And Daniel Montesino on the base ink. Gotcha. <laughs> You're like, don't call yourself out. Jordan will come get you. Speckle, Brooks Lee showing up for another parallel. That's out of 99. And Michael Arroyo on the base ink. So two parallels already for you on the Brooks Lee spot. Hey. He will cooperate. Refractor to 199 of Brady House and base ink behind him of Chase DeLauder. This guy's picked up a lot of steam during the uh, AFL League. Like he was absolutely mashing. All of a sudden his card prices like went sky high thinking that like he's going to be on the uh, starting starting day lineup now for the uh, Guardians. I was like, you never know. The Guardians could use help everywhere pretty much. Ooh, we got blue. Blues are to 25. Blues are to 25 in this product, and it's going out to Oak, the Max Muncy spot. Three out of 25. <laughs> and Jonathan Mejia, number two, this time on the Refractor to 150 ink. That's the way it works sometimes, Ian. You strike out one, but then you hammer the next, so... I know that's how it works for me a lot of times. As long as when I uh, strike out, it's not expensive compared to when I hit big. I had one where I bought, I bought in for 20 bucks and didn't get anything hardly. And then in the next break, I bought in for 45 and hit three rookie autos of uh, Pasquantino. Simon Wan on this base ink, which, you know, I'm, I'm always going to collect my fellow Italianos. Nice Simon Wan right there. But, Mr. Wan, you do have a lot of surface you can sign on. It's okay. It's okay to use the card. Not all of it, but at least the white spot. And the final pack of this box has got gold to 50. Nice, and that's a good name. Camonero to 50. 19 out of 50. And base ink of Kevin Parada. Jorge and Velasquez on the base cards. So both, two, all the Mets showing up in this case so far. Just about.
gunner base, and then we've got, oh, more base, base, another Mejia, Mejia spot, showing up in threefold, I believe now, that should be the third auto, or maybe I mixed Mejia up with the other guy, oh yeah, I think it was Baez, was the, we had one Baez and two Mejias, there's going to be lots of both. Sterling Silver to 100 of Jason Dominguez and Base Inc. of Gavin Cross again. I wonder if he's going to turn out to be the real deal because he looked pretty nasty. What hitting what first hit being a home run off Verlander? I, even I was like, wow. Like even if you know the fastball is coming from Verlander, it's probably still not easy to hit it. Got a mini diamond of Kyle Stowers to 150 and base ink of Manny Beltre, Aranda and Walker on the base. <clears throat> Ooh, I just realized that. All right. Paper cuts, ahoy. We've got wave to 125 of Michael Arroyo. The Arroyo spot just hitting the base auto, and now you got a wave parallel to go with it. Very nice indeed. All right, last little mini box. What you got? Let's get lower than blue. Let's see that rose gold, that red, or oh, that super. Mini Diamond, Tyler Freeman to 150, and Base Ink of Bergola. Three more to go in this first case. Some more rookie ink. Let's see some Corbin action or some Mikey Harris or something. Refractor to 199 of Brett Beatty, followed by De Los, Jordi De Los Santos on the base ink. Base Inc., Eric Brown Jr. Some gold, and it's going to have ink on it. Gold Refractor Ink to 50. Ooh, nasty hit there. Ellie De La Cruz to 50 on the gold refractor ink. Very nice hit for the De La Cruz spot. See what I mean? We got a the Gorman to 10. We get an Ellie to 50. Usually these cases are pretty, pretty good. You don't just get like one good card. You get usually several. So big fan of this product. Nice Ellie on the gold ink. Speckle of Vaughn Grissom to 99, followed by, oh, look at that. What a pack. What a pack, right? For our Braves fans out there. Michael Harris, rookie ink, and Vaughn, I told you, Michael Harris, we love him here. We pull his autos. Very nice. Congratulations to the Harris spot getting some nice rookie ink. Stowers and Caminero on the base. So two good autos back-to-back -back right there. 
Yeah, we saw that. And you know, uh, Mort, one of our uh, resident Brave fans, uh, was, we were just talking about that last night, that he's probably not going to see playing time anyways. And base ink of Willie Fanas. So hopefully he gets some playing time with the Red Sox, because now uh, the Braves got Chris Sale on the pitching staff. Like, good God. They're like, all right, Dodgers, we're going to call you bluff. We're going we're gonna to compete. I really hope those are the two teams that meet in the end of the, you know, to go to the World Series every year. No offense to Phillies fans and everything else, but I want to watch those two duke it out. But if you choke and don't make it, you choke and don't make it. Me as an Angels fan, I know all about choking. <laughs> and been watching it for years. Yeah, that's the thing. When you can see a guy has the potential and the talent to be like a special player, you don't want him sitting on the bench. Refractor to 199, another parallel for the Zavala spot, and base ink of Diane Jorge. Because you just never know what he's going to turn into. Yeah, I would always be nervous about Sale in the IL, too. But if he is not 80% of what he normally is, he's still nasty. Ooh, do we have blue ink to 25? Ooh, our first really low-numbered auto to 25 on the blue ink. Oh, what a color match. What a color match for the Montez spot. 9 out of 25. Man, that is just a nasty looking card in a good way. Oh, what a color match hit that is right there. Congrats to the Montez spot. 9 out of 25. G glad to hear it, Nissan. We, we do too. Well, I do. I played it for my entire childhood. Uh, was going to get drafted by the Giants and play pro, or at least attempt to. Mikey Romero on the base ink. Putting the Mikey Romero spot on the board for the first time today. There is nothing I love more than the sport of baseball. Not even my kids. Don't tell them I said that, but... <laughs> Don't tell... Ooh, high-tech rose gold, baby. Hey, Lenny, what's going on? Happy New Year to you, too. We got rose gold on the high-tech, so I think this is to 15. I don't know if the numbering's different. It might be to 10. No, we've got 11... You know what, let me just, uh, oh, oh my, Michael Harris spot, bang. Tell me that's not a gorgeous card. Nine out of 15 on the rose gold high-tech Mikey Harris rookie card. Man, that is a nasty card. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love the high-tech cards. That looks so cool as a parallel. Got you some ink, Michael Harris spot, and a rose gold to 15. Wow. And Parada number two of the case, this time on the Wave Auto. Yeah, you're crack, not a problem, man. Congratulations. Nasty hit, bro. Make sure if you post that stuff on social media that you uh, tag us so that way we can uh, respond and stuff, my man, because we, uh, we like posting those hits that people get from us. And Gabriel Martinez is going to be the final auto in this box. Thank you, Lenny. Same to you. Uh, have a safe and happy new year. Hope that uh, the family and yourself stay blessed. 
I know I have no complaints except for a lot, but I won't say them. <laughs> Alright, final box of the first case. And like I said, lots of good stuff comes out of these cases. Mikey Harris to 15. Ellie De La Cruz to 50. Several redemption autos. This product is so fun to open. Base ink of Gabriel Gonzalez, the Montez to 25. So much fun to open this product. Nice Gabriel Gonzalez on the base ink. I must admit. Chris is uh, his favorite's Inception, I believe, and mine is Bowman Sterling. Although I do love it, uh, Inception, I like the patches as well. On the speckle to 99, Diane Jorge showing up again. 57 of 99. Refractor to 199 of Kumar Rocker and base ink behind him of Jackson Merrill. So two new spots getting a little action for him. Nice Jackson Merrill ink. I wonder if this guy makes it to the show next year too because like he's the one guy they were unwilling to trade for anybody. Which says something because the Padres seem like they will trade anybody at any time if it's uh, a player of caliber of that they want, you know. So for them not to want to trade Jackson Merrill, they must think that he's going to be uh, an absolute stud. Base ink of there some Mercedes on the Yasser spot. Casas, Outman, and Walner base. And last mini box of case number one. Can we go lower than rose gold in the first case? We've got Speckle, Oswald Peraza to 99. I think that's the second parallel. And Base Ink of Montez. So like I said, yeah, we will see a lot of double ups and triple ups in these cases, unfortunately. But usually you, you see a ton of different guys just because there's so many autos. Aranda and Walker on the base cards. All right, first case done. Off to a good start. Hopefully that trend continues. Oh yeah, that's what's killing my knife is the cardboard. Now I understand completely. We're just gonna put that over there for now. starting to get good at avoiding hitting this camera every time I move. Now this little camera over here, that's a whole different story. Yeah, right Mark? I mean this product is, it's been very good to us. Uh, I, I pulled the Super Fractor Triple Auto of Adley Rutschman, Francisco Alvarez, and Gabriel Moreno, the three catchers, and I was like, oh my goodness. Yankeel Fernandez on the ink. See, and we got a, looks like we got a different collation going here. We didn't see Yankeel at all in the first case. Getting you on the board right there with the base ink. Sterling Silver of Jackson Holiday, and there's another good name right there, 99 out of 100. And Mr. Ramirez is at it again, this time in case number two on the base ink. Take care of Mr. Holiday. I do like these Sterling Silver refractors. Steer and Meyer.
Speckle the 99. Hey, there we go. Showing up on another parallel there for you, Mark. And Tucker Toman again on the base ink. Got some parallels, two parallels and an auto already. That's a pretty good break already, man. Zach Neto seems to be a good find in this break. He's showing up. Which I thoroughly enjoy. Love pulling his cards. Base ink, Nelson Rada, more Angels action going on. Cavalli and Stowers on the base. All right, I only have, we haven't seen a parallel yet either on Spencer Steer. Come on, Steer. Don't steer us in the wrong direction. Show up. Francisco Alvarez on the uh, mini diamond to 150 and wave to 125 ink of Kevin Parada. I think that's actually the second wave auto of Parada. Box one, we done. No, 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 come back here, stay there. These packs was trying to run away. We will not have any of that going down. Yeah, I was really, really jealous of that card, Mark. <laughs> I was holding it and looking at it, and I was like, oh, man. I like watching him. Refractor to 199 of Sal Stewart, and Refractor Inc. to 150 of Abel Bastidas. Looks like you got a nice roller mark right here down the middle. Uh, just wipe that off with a microfiber cloth. should come right off. 122 out of 150 there. Magenta to 75 of Jackson Merrill and base ink of Diane Jorge. Gold to 50, and it's got ink on it. Come on, 15 of 50. Your Donnie De Los Santos on the gold ink. 15 out of 50. Nice. Arias Acuna De La Cruz on the base cards. That's it. Let's put a ton of color on our ink. The more, the merrier. Mini Diamond. Of Leover Paguero to 150 and base ink of Ambrios Ambioris Tavares. Diamond of Nelson Velasquez to 150 and Edinson Paulino on the base ink. Wraps up that box.
No, I just gotta keep pushing it down some more. All the uh, the plastic and the um, whatever this other material, I can't think of the name of it. Joshua Baez to 99 on the speckle and Kevin Parada again on the base ink. So the Parada spot showing up quite often so far. Hey there, Jimmy. Good day. How we feeling, my man? Base ink of Simon Juan, Tovar, and Mitchell. And once again, it's okay to use the card, sir. Magenta, Shea Langoliers, number one out of 75 on the Magenta Refractor and base ink of Mr. Cuero. Third Cuero auto of the break. Parada, Mercedes. Nice. On the very first of the print run on the Shea Langoliers, a Magenta Refractor. Refractor to 199. There we go. Corbin Carroll spot. Get a nice parallel for you. And base ink of Cole Young from the Mariners. Some nice Cole Young ink. Any numbered Carroll is a good Carroll. 182 out of 199 right there. And we've got orange, orange to 75, going out to the Henry Bolt spot, 55 out of 75. Yeah, Ellie De La Cruz with that 50 to gold to 50. That Nolan Gor Gor Gorman though, man, that black lava to 10. Oh, love those cards. Yeah, probably my new favorite parallel in any product. I mean, I still love reds, but I don't know, that black lava, that's got a special place now in my heart. Henry Bolt again on the base ink this time. Refractor to 199 of Christopher Morell for the Morell spot on the refractor and Sterling Silver Auto of Mejia. Mejia spot, Mejia spot enjoying a very nice break as well. Another refractor, this one is of Nolan Jones to 199 and base ink of Bergola. We have seen Mr. Bergola quite a few times as well. So it definitely seems in this product that some guys signed a heck of a lot more cards than others. Base ink of Michael Arroyo. And we have another opulence auto. Oh, and it's another bonus auto too. Jordani de los Santos again on the base ink. And then opulence auto to 99. Brooks Lee, there he is. We got him. Number two out of 99 on the Brooks Lee Opulence Auto. 
numbered to 99. These are very good looking cards. I like the opulence autos. They did good on them. Congrats, Lee Spot. And De Los Santos getting another auto on the board. Sterling Silver to 100 ink. Nice rookie ink there. Alec Burleson, four out of 100 for the Burleson spot. Getting some rookie ink on the board again. Our third rookie autograph of the break so far. So nice getting, uh, what we get? Two in the first case, one so far in this case. We did have one case that had like five of them in it. It's kind of nutty. Ooh, we got another black lava to 10. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's Nolan Gorman again. You now have two out of the ten lava parallels. Wow. And then Speckle to 99, Michael Arroyo on the ink. Feel free to let me know if you want to get rid of one of these. <laughs> these are so cool. Two of them, number four out of 10 for the Gorman spot. Congratulations on the Black Lava. Awesome card, man. Vaquero and Gonzalez on the base. How cool is that to hit two out of the 10 parallels? And we've got orange to 75 on our ink. Sammy Munoz, 72 out of 75. Very nice. On the orange ink. Cassis, Altman, and Walner on the base. Yeah, pretty much. If we get one per case, he's good to go. He now owns the uh, majority share. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty nutty, dude. It, just to get another black lava, because we usually don't see but one every couple of cases. Uh, Mini Diamond of Esturi Ruiz and Base Ink of Gavin Cross. Yeah, super, super rare right there. Two out of the ten black lavas are pulled in the same break in back-to-back -back cases. Now, if the third one's in there, in the third case, ooh, we got blue to 25 again. Not going to have ink, but it's a nice rookie color match. Nelson Velasquez, 17 out of 25 on the blue refractor color match. And base ink behind him of Montesino. Nasty card right there. I love that. See, they even got the color of the refractor refracting down here. It's not just like blue. It's actually refractor way down there, too. If you can see, like, the little stars and stuff down in the corner. Really cool. Really cool. Rada and Casas on the base cards. All right. The exact halfway point of the break. First case and a half has been very good. Uh, I'd like to see some big autos coming out of here in this last half of the case. Maybe a big Corbin Carroll or Dunner or something like that. We saw Mikey Harris. We saw Ellie. Oh, we got another redemption. Sterling Silver to 100 of Lazaro Montez. Colas and Naylor on the base and our redemption. Our redemption. And we haven't seen Churio yet. So maybe we need to see a Churio. Prospect autograph Sterling Silver. And it's a good thing that they put one in front of it so you know what it's going to look like. 
makes life easy, will be numbered to 100 and look just like this of Mr. Crawford doubling up in the break. Nice on the Sterling Silver to 100, which will look exactly like that. Ta-da! Mini Diamond to 150 of Colson Montgomery and Base Ink of Sammy Munoz. Ooh, I want to pull the Zach Neto Black Lava, Mark. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a parallel I'd like to see for you. Base Ink of Jackson Merrill. Outman and Walner on those base cards. Or a nice, a nice red refractor. All right, Sterling Silver to 100 of Tyler Freeman on the rookie card, 36 out of 100. And base ink of Jet Williams. There we go, Jet Williams number two. Let's put some color on the next one for you, though. But nice, getting a second Jet Williams for you on the board. And orange. Oh, back-to-back -back orange. Or is that gold? So we got, this is either gold or orange on the high-tech. So I'm going to get this stuff out from behind first. Vaughn Grissom and Freeman Base. So we've got high tech. Oh my God. Out of 50, it's gold. James Wood. Nasty hit right there for the Wood spot. Six out of 50 on the gold Bowman Sterling high tech. And he's hiding some more color. Orange to 75 ink going out to Willie Finas. 65. Actually, I think that's the second orange auto of him, too. This might be the second orange auto for the Finas spot. I'm not 100% sure, but very nice on the orange right. ink. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Okay. So two. And nasty James Wood to 50 right here. Awesome on those high-tech cards. Congratulations to those spots. Mini Diamond to 150 of Diane Jorge and Base Ink of Yasser Mercedes. Second one for the Mercedes spot. Refractor to 199 of Shea Langoliers and Speckle to 99 Ink of Kevin Parada. Wow, the Parada spot hitting heavy in both cases. I think that's like six autos for him now. He's got like three or four parallels, a couple of base. So Parada spot had a great break so far. Like you don't need anything else now and it was still a fantastic break for you. Refractor of Jonathan Mejia and Base Ink of Don Cohn. My knife is definitely getting lazy on me today. Base ink of Glider Figueroa. First thing we've seen for the Figueroa spot, so nice to get at least one base auto out there for you.
speckled a 99 of Adley Rutschman. There's a nice parallel for the Rutschman spot, 89 of 99. And then Refractor to 150 ink of Elijah Green. Another one with a roller mark right there. But should... Let me see a little bit right here with my thumb. Yeah, it should wipe off with a microfiber cloth. I don't want to push hard with my thumb and damage the card. So yeah, just take a microfiber cloth, maybe a tiny little bit of water. Like just moisten it and then rinse it out, but not a bad pack there at all. And Chorillo on the base. That it is. Anything with Adley Rutschman is indeed nice. Hello, Miss Hall. Good afternoon. diamond or is that speckle man sometimes you okay speckle the 99 of jason dominguez another parallel for the dominguez spot and refractor ink to 150 of jordan beck another one with that print line i mean with that roller mark 70 out of 150 for the beck spot first thing on the beck spot putting something on the board for you and it's numbered which is always an extra bonus We've got another high tech. This is the base version, number to 99, and that looks like Cincinnati and Ellie De La Cruz hitting again on the high tech. 94 out of 99 for the Ellie De La Cruz spot and base ink behind him. Another Zavala for you on the Sammy Zavala base ink. Nice little white color match there, white and red. Very nice, and a nice Zavala. Hopefully we can put some. Hopefully we can put some color on the next time we pull one for them if we do. One, two, three, four, five, six cards in this pack, and we got a refractor ink of Edinson Paulino to one fifty, eighty nine out of one fifty. So finally putting a numbered auto on the board for the Paulino spot to go with those two base autos from earlier. Oh, that one took a while for Beck to show up. Wave ink to 125 of Sedan Rafaela. 123 out of 125 on the Rafaela. It's the first thing I think on Rafaela in the break too. Very nice. And a magenta to 75 refractor of, there we go, there's a nice rookie parallel. 45 out of 75 for the Jordan Walker spot. And behind him, he's hiding a base auto of a Reggie Crawford. So second Reggie Crawford of the break and a very nice signature. Uses the whole font, uh, area for font. Thank you, Mr. Crawford, on a very nice signature. We do appreciate it here in the sports car hobby. And a nice walker to 75. for that really big name ink. Jason Churio, we're close. We're close. We, we want to see your brother at least once. Maybe some holiday action. 
Those would be a couple of good names to see. Let's see some bigger names. Some more big names. I'm greedy for my people. Base Inc., Eric, Eric Brown Jr. Okay, so this is a black lava to 10 again. <laughs> if we see St. Louis Cardinals again, everybody's going to, oh, it's not. It's a different fixture. Fixture, I can tell already. It's Kansas City. Oh, and it's got ink on it to 10 on the black lava. Ink. Ooh, Gavin Cross spot. There you go. There's your very big hit of the break. Congratulations to the cross spot on the black lava. Yeah, a little roller mark too down the, the center of the card. Just wipe that on down. It should come right off. Very nice. Three black lavas, two in one case. Very nice for the Gavin Cross bot. Congrats. There we go. That was what that's what I wanted to see is a nice low numbered autograph. So at least the boxes listen. At least the card gods obliged this time. Base ink of Drew Gilbert. But there still could be more low-numbered stuff in here. We've pulled a Super Fractor, a Red, and a Black Lava. Look, there's Blue to 25 on the next auto. Blue to 25. Come on, be a big name. Be a big name. Ooh, Rafaela striking quick. Nothing in the first case at all. And now getting back, almost back-to-back -back boxes with ink. And this one is 3 out of 25 on the Blue Refractor. Very nice for the Rafaela spot. So Back-to-back -back little mini boxes with low numbered ink. That's what I'm talking about. Blue and black. But there's still room for red or a super. We can always be great, greedy around here, can't we? Was it him or Paulino that got called up? It was Rafaela, wasn't it, at the end of the year? He was one of the guys that got called up for Boston. And base ink of Chase DeLauder. DeLauder number two on the day. Yeah, he's another one of those guys that's like a, a strong, uh, strong dual threat, power and speed. Sterling Silver to 100 of Vaughn Grissom. Grissom spot getting a nice parallel there. 75 out of 100. And base ink of Gabriel Martinez. Another Redemption. Another redemption. Are we finally going to get to see Churio? Come on, say Super Fractor or Red or... All right, camera. It's like it's getting brighter. Hold on a sec. There we go. There, that's better. You are due to receive a speckle to 99 auto of... Nope, Xavier Isaac striking again. So the Isaac spot is doubled up and the Crawford spot is doubled up. Very nice. Taking down another one for the Xavier Isaac spot on that speckle. That's a goodie. Base ink of Gabriel Gonzalez. Some more ink for the Gonzalez spot as well.
base ink of Lazaro Montez. And that wraps up that box. Two more to go in case number two. I'm trying to think if I still have anything of Raphael. I've got to have autos of him. His first Bowman's. Or is it Paulino? I got one of them. I got stuff of one of them. Just one of those guys, you know, I hit a couple of his autos in a random break. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to hold on to it. He's young. We'll see what happens. And then I seen he got called up. Yeah, so I think it's Raphael. I was like, ooh. <laughs> you know, whenever you find out a dude that you've got some of his first Bowman autos from whatever year you've got them from, you hear that he's in the majors, you're like, oh my god, let me go find those cards. You start digging through the box, you know, hoping that it's that guy that you're thinking of. Gold to 50 refractor of I've Yvonne Herrera. Nice Herrera gold, 42 out of 50. And Sterling Silver to 100 auto of Mr. Bergola. Had, has had one heck of a day. Many, many autos. And Stowers and Caminero. Man, where's a Caminero? A Jackson Holiday. I probably do. I probably got all of them from all the Bowman that I've been involved in. Mini Diamond to 150 of Jordan Groshans. And Base Ink of Mr. Fanas, who's also had a fantastic day. Multiple autos, including two oranges. Yeah, who's to say I when you have half of a five row, you know, filled with Bowman prospect autos, chances are I probably got something from for everybody. We're gonna have base ink of Mikey Romero. I like how sometimes the card sticks and just takes it right off for the Romero spot. And Speckle to 99, 98 of 99 for the Sammy Munoz spot, followed by Base Ink of Abel Bastidas. And last little mini box. It's very possible. I would not count it out. Refractor to 199 for the Kodai Senga spot. It goes from 0 to 100 on this camera. There we go. I just want Yeah. I just want a little bit of light to not like to work goes <laughs> No, uh, no steer. But we got Pasquantino. Vinny P on the wave rookie auto to 125. Vinny Pasquantino to 125 on the rookie ink and the Kodai refractor. Gonzalez and Beck. All right, let's see what this last box got in it. I've filled up almost three full boxes of trash. <laughs> oh, the stack of autos? Yeah. Well, let's see. There's five per box, 12. That's, what, 70, 60? No, 80. Oh, and I might, I'm tired. I've seen too many. Yet. So 60, almost 120 autos over there at the moment. Good God, the recap is going to be exhausting. Another Figueroa on the base ink. Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. And ref 
refractor of Spencer Jones. Finally, a little something for the Jones spot. 170 of 199. And Taveras again on the base ink. So some guys are very sparse and others are few are quite frequent. Jorge and Velasquez. Took two full cases to find one parallel for Spencer Jones. Where some guys have like five autos already. Refractor of Diego Cartaya to 199 and Mason Hour on the base ink. Uh, I know that we've hit some Peraza parallels. Uh, I think like two different numbered ones. Jordan Lawler, nothing yet on Jordan Lawler. And Cabrera, I don't think so either. We may have a parallel. We might have two parallels on one or one on each when it comes to the two Yankee rookies, Lenny. Manny Beltre on the base ink. But yeah, no, uh, no ink on any of them. And no numbered parallels for Lawler. Gold to 50 again. Elijah Green spot. Nice gold, 26 out of 50. And finally, a Caminero auto. There we go. One of the bigger names we're looking for. Nice junior Caminero. Could this be the future for the Rays? They hope so. Put a lot of money in him. Montez and Grissom on those base cards. All right, case number three. This product leaves quite the mess. <laughs> I was like, I am running out of room. <laughs> Oy. Last 12 boxes. Oh boy. You're very welcome, Lenny. Hopefully uh, things change. Hopefully we get a little bit more something something going on here in this last case for you. was not enough. Thank you very much. We got magenta to 75 for the Mejia spot. 47 out of 75 and another Don Cone auto. Three base autos for the Don Cone spot. We couldn't put a numbered parallel one time up there for you. Thank you. Well, shame on you. Shame on you, Bowen Platinum. Speckled to 99 of Marcelo Mare, the first sign of life for the Mare spot. 10 out of 99. And then we got Gold Ink. Gold to 50. Ricardo Cabrera. Very nice for the Cabrera spot. It's been a while. We saw him in the first case and then nothing in case two. Putting some more ink up there for you. And it's a nice one too with the gold refractor. And, <laughs> wow, we got a blue and a redemption. This is going to be a fun pack. 
Blue Refractor to 25, and then a Redemption behind the Blue Refractor, and it's Jason Churio. We need to see your older brother right behind you. That'd be pretty funny if it was Jackson Churio right behind his brother. But it would have been accidental that that happened. Come on, we need a Jackson Churio auto. Prospect autograph of... Nope, it's another Drew Jones. So all of our redemptions have doubled up to Drew Jones. But the first one, I believe, was the Opulence Auto. So two Drew Jones, two Xavier Isaacs, and two um, Justin Crawfords. Base ink. Oh, Cabrera show now. Nothing in two, but he's going to show up quite often in case three. He's already twice in the first box. Very nice Cabrera spot. Definitely starting to run up a total. Mini diamond to 150 on the flow of Mr. James Outman. 54 out of 150, and Sterling Silver to 100, Inc. of Tucker Toman. First numbered auto for the Toman spot. Nice dual parallel pack right there. Aranda and Walker on the base cards. Vinny P, number two. We found him in the last case on the Wave Refractor ink. Now you're getting the regular base ink. Congrats to the Pasquantino spot getting two rookie autos in this break. That is a tough thing to do. Another redemption. <laughs> Peraza. Gorman. We got Sterling Silver to 100 of Drew Jones and then another redemption. Are we going to triple up or find somebody new? It, <laughs> and they put the Sterling Silver redemption behind the Sterling Silver parallel again. Trying to hook it up and let you know what it's going to look like. Sterling Silver to 100 of another Drew Jones. Eh. No, that's completely accidental that we put a Drew Jones Sterling Silver behind a Drew Jones Sterling Silver autograph. Hmm, coincidence? I think not. Weird how it works out like that sometimes, though. That's pretty cool if you're a Drew Jones fan. This pack is for you. <laughs> the same exact card, but this one will have ink on it. Very nice. Congratulations to the Jones spot tripling up in this break. Ooh, there's a good pack. Gold and orange again. Gold Refractor and then orange ink. The gold refractor is Bergola, who has had a heck of a break as well. And then our orange ink to 75. There you go on your Beck spot. It took a while to get him going, but we found him twice down. This one is a beaut. 15 out of 75 on this Jordan Beck orange auto. There you go, Ian. Nasty card right there. Beautiful. Yeah, you may not have struck often, but when you did with this spot, it, they were both numbered ink. So one positive there to take away for you. It used to always frustrate me. It's like I'd get lucky enough to get autos, but they would be base. And I'd be like, come on, man. Just, just give me one numbered auto and keep all the base autos. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's always how my breaks work out. Always shocked when I get a numbered autograph. 
Mini Diamond to 150 of Tristan Casas and Base Ink of Anthony Gutierrez. Base Inc. Alex Ramirez, we know you've seen you in every single case. You want some ink? Just take the Ramirez spot. He will be there. Just call his name and he'll be there. Yeah, now you're pretty good, Ian. What was it? The speckle to 99 and the orange to 75, so not too bad. I know it's like, does he have autos or is it just base cards on steer? Because I've never seen one of his rookie autos, if he has them. At least we've never pulled one in all the cases we've opened. But for God's sakes, man, get that guy, man a steer parallel. Nelson Rada on the mini diamond to 150. And base, <laughs> come on now. So <laughs> we get the Drew Jones doubling up in the pack, and now we get Nelson Rada doubling up in the pack. I'm starting to sense a theme in this case. If we see this too often, I'm going to think that uh, this was done on purpose. Just based in parallel? Okay. Yeah, we gotta, we, we got to get you some uh, at least one parallel out of this. And hopefully like a rose gold or something low numbered. If, there's not, if it's not frequent, let it be... Awesome. Speckle to 99 of Reggie Crawford and base ink of Mr. Zavala. And just so you guys know, there's like the base cards have like a wicked bow in them. Like, can you see this? Like, <laughs> all of them are like this, just the base cards. For some reason, the parallels and the autos, they're fine. We've got Refractor to 199 of Oscar Gonzalez and Base Ink again of Edgar Cuero. The Cuero spot has not done bad at all. Yeah, come on, let's see a Spencer Steer. At least a gold. That shouldn't be too much to ask. Base Ink again, William Bergola. Bo Naylor. But now I want to see some new names, too. It's like, okay, come on. We've seen the same guys over and over and over again. Come on, Coalition. Change up a little bit in this case, please. Let's see some people get on the board that have not gotten there yet. Base Inc., Kevin Parada. There's a name we haven't seen 14 times. <laughs> Congratulations, Parada Spot. You have had one heck of a day, man. No, I think Savala took all your luck then, Brent. I think you're out of luck. You, you're, There's something unwritten that says you're not allowed to hit on both spots. <laughs> but no, that's absolutely not true. Hopefully we can pull you that one, at least one Spencer Steer base car, uh, parallel. Because the, the parallels in this are really nice. Especially if it's like a rose gold or that black lava. Like it's going to be a sick parallel. Base ink of Yankil Fernandez. Zavala's done pretty good, though. What, three, four autos somewhere in that range? So if we miss you on steer. 
Paulino on the base ink. At least we got you on the Zavala. Okay. So, yeah, not too shabby. But, yeah, maybe get some uh, colored ink for you. One colored auto for the Zavala. We've got gold to 50. DL Hall, 36 out of 50 on the DL Hall spot. And base ink of Josue De Paula. Base ink, Mr. Cabrera, once again. From zero to hero. Refractor of Asturi Ruiz to 199 and more Tavares base ink. That should be the third one per case is all you're allowed on the Tavares spot. So that way other guys can get two or three autos. <laughs> I'm feeling spicy now. God's listen to us for the people out there that have hit nothing, hit them something. Mini Diamond to 150, there you go. I asked and received Volpe, nothing so far. So, nice parallel there for the Volpe spot and Sterling Silver Inc. Gavin Cross doesn't need anything else. He's done good. Nah, we're greedy. Give us more. We'll take it. Oh, and it's number one. Number one out of 100 on the Gavin Cross, and number 105 out of 150 on the Volpe Mini Diamond Refractor. Man, that's a good looking card. If you can gem this out, dude, I would, you know what I mean? You would, I would never want to get rid of a card that looks this cool. Congratulations to both of those spots. Wave to 125, ink of Abel Bastidas. Base ink of De Los Santos. Magenta? Yeah, Magenta to 75 on this base refractor. Spencer Jones showing up again on the parallel, 17 to 75. And our ink, Mr. Simon Juan on the base ink. Very nice. Sterling Silver to 100 of Mikey Romero and Base Ink of Jonathan Mejia. Base Ink, Glider Figuero. I 
I almost don't want to do the uh, the base autos on the recap because there's going to be like 200 or something. There's a massive stack. I was going to say, there's a massive stack of base ink. Christian Vaccaro, 193 of 199 on the refractor. I, that's the first thing we've seen on Vaccaro. So. And then Speckle, the 99 ink of Mr. Mejia again on the Mejia spot with another autograph. Many, many Mejias. Mucho Mejia. Mucho, mucho Mejia. <laughs> Refractor of Jordan Walker, another parallel for the Walker spot. Very nice out of 199. And base ink of Abel Bastidas. Walker spot getting another parallel. Refractor ink of Brooks Lee. There we go. Some more Brooks Lee ink for you. 82 out of 150 to go with that opulence auto earlier. Very nice. Mini Diamond to 150 of Ellie, another Ellie De La Cruz. Nice parallel for the Cruz spot and Refractor Ink to 150. Montesino, the first numbered auto for the Montesino spot. And any numbered Ellie is probably a good Ellie at this point in time. And that wraps up that. Six more to go. Sometimes you just gotta stop for a second and stretch. Oh yeah, no problem, bro. It's uh, it's been going for over an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, I, I just realized. I was like, we no, it, we started at twelve thirty. It's almost been two hours of me sitting here. It's one hundred three minutes right now. Nice. We've almost hit the two hour mark. Base ink of Lazaro Montez. Stop doing that. Sleep card first. Get to next pack. Sometimes a one track mind must open cards. Must open cards. We've got gold to 50. Is it going to have ink? Nope. It is a base refractor. <laughs> Another spot that is absolutely crushed at 30 out of 50 on the Alex Ramirez gold refractor. And then base ink of Gabriel Martinez behind him. So have yourself a day, Mr. Alex Ramirez. No shortage of good cards on your spot today. Base Inc., Henry Bolt. Base Inc., Gabriel Gonzalez. Can we see a new name, please? Refractor of Nelson Velasquez to 199. Nope, Drew Gilbert on the Base Inc. And really haven't seen anything no, low numbered so far out of this entire case that I can recall offhand. Maybe a blue early in the case, but usually, yeah, we haven't seen rose gold or 
The high techs have a green parallel to 10. They're really cool. Maybe I'll get lucky and uh, pull one and I can show you guys. It's like a, uh, I want to say avocado color, but it looks really cool on the uh, high tech um, plastic card. Not plastic. What's the, oh my God, my brain, it's done. Diane Jorge on the refractor and Mikey Romero on the ink. Acetate. Yes, that's what they're called. Acetate cards. Not plastic. Finally. Finally, finally something good. Something big. Rose gold to 15 ink. Rose gold to 15. That's what I was talking about. Let's go from the side. Rose gold 2 out of 15. Tucker Toman spot. There you go. Very nice for the Toman spot. And you have that roller mark as well. Just give that a little wipe down. 2 out of 15. Nasty Rose Gold Auto right there for the Toman spot. Congratulations. That was what I was talking about. I wanted to see something low numbered. There we go. I was waiting for something like that. Thank you very much. Case number three. Wave to 125. There's another Beck Parallel Auto. Three autos for you, and they were three different parallels, right? We got the Wave, the Speckle, and the uh, the Orange. So, congrats, Ian. We got three to the rainbow for you. Paulino on the base ink. Speckle to 99. Elijah Green on another parallel. I know, I'm sorry, Adam. You're, I know as soon as that you saw the rose gold, you were probably going, come on. Come on, B. Cabrera. <laughs> Sterling Silver Auto. Oh, there's a good one. Junior Caminero, number two in the case. This one to 100. Congratulations, Caminero spot. Only one base auto in the entire break. But we'll take that for you. Very nice indeed. And the nice Elijah Green to 99 speckle. Rounds out that box. Hey, you never know. There, I, I, we've had multiple times where we've hit uh, a couple of rose golds or you know, just real low numbered stuff in these cases. I think this was a lot shorter printed than most of the sets. That's why we see so many low numbered parallels and autographs in the same cases. And I, I say shorter printed sparingly because obviously from products like series one and series two like anything is shorter printed because that flagship we know they print a lot more of that than they do with products like this mini diamond to 150 of there are some arias finally an arias sighting on a parallel to 150 and then refractor ink of cole young so the arias spot took like 20 some odd boxes, 29, 30 boxes for you to get a parallel, but we found one for you. The ultimate sweat right there. And nice Cole Young there on that refractor ink. I think he's only had a couple of base autos too. So at least we're putting some numbered stuff on the board for some people at the end here. Sterling Silver, and that looks like a rookie of D.L. Hall. D.L. Hall spot with another parallel. That's going to be 74 out of 100. And Mr. Fanas, you didn't get enough autos, so here's another. I think that's like six or seven. 
I've lost track. The Willy Finas spot has definitely hit a lot of ink. Congratulations to you. Like at least two per case, I think. And base ink there, Mr. Gavin Cross again. Another spot that has showed up a lot. Gavin Cross Inc. We got gold to 50, and it's our ink. Come on. Let's see a big one. 33 out of 50 for Vaquero. Okay, Vaquero hasn't seen any ink. So right here, almost at the end of regulation, putting a nice gold auto up there for you. Another signer that, like, 33 out of 50, nice gold refractor ink for the Vaquero spot. Yeah, I know, Jordan, right? I'm, and I, I'm opening it, and like I'm like, man, that's like six or seven, eight, nine autos for this guy in three cases. Like... It's a little too much. I mean, he, of course, he's saying not for my spot. It's not. Keep him coming. Uh, refractor to 199 of Jordan Groshans and Reggie Crawford on the base ink. And down to three boxes. giant hit lurking, hiding out, just waiting to be revealed for somebody. I think we do. I just got to get to it. Colson Montgomery on the refractor to 199 and base ink of Yasser Mercedes. He's in that one. One time in each case, he got a base autograph. Like, he was definitely not in this coalition. They're like, oh, we'll just put one Yasser in there. But, hey, at least you got one. I know there's guys in here that haven't seen any ink. Base ink of Josue DePaula. Diane Jorge on that base auto. God, there's got to be at least 75 base autographs. <laughs> Maybe 100. Is there like 100 uh, base autographs? Out? <laughs> he's like, a, he's all, I'll bring it over there in a minute. Ooh, what is that? Is that orange? It could be, but it's a little off. Nope, it's orange. Oh, that, that picture looks very similar. Orange to 75. No, it's Paguero. That's why it looked different, because it's a rookie ink. 29 of 75 for the Paguero spot. Doubling up on the rookie ink also for Paguero. Very nice on the orange rookie autograph. And Mini Diamond to 150 of Cole Young, followed by a Jackson Merrill Bass autograph.
base ink of Manny Beltre. Base ink of Jason Churio. Magenta to 75 of, there we go, something for the Adley Rutschman spot. Very nice. 51 out of 75 for Rutschman. And base ink of Mason Hour behind him. Pretty nice parallel right there for the Rutschman spot. Base ink, Eric Brown Jr. Ooh, blue high tech to 25. That's cool. There's something low numbered and different. On the blue high tech to 25. KC. Bobby Witt Jr. That's like the only card you can really get with the Witt spot is this, and I think he has an opulence auto. So awesome color match, too. That's so cool looking. 14 out of 25 on the Bowman High Tech Acetate. And then behind him we've got Base Ink, and that's Henry Bolt again. That is a super cool looking card right there. That just looks like something that could be wiped off on top but I don't want to mess with it too much. Just like a little speck right there. I will let you do further investigating on your card when you receive it. 14 out of 25. Love the high-tech cards. And that brings us to the final box. Woo! What is this? Box number 24, 36. Yeah! 36 boxes of sterling. Oh, baby. Let's see if there's one. Let's pull a super fracture out of the last box. I would giggle. I would giggle. And I would enjoy it. And I would laugh so much. All right, last box magic. Let's be real. Although that Bobby in the last box was pretty cool. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> I hit a super in the last box. Let's go. And it's going to have ink. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I love it. That is going to be an opulence auto super fractor. Holy crap. <laughs> I love it. In the last box. We got magenta to 75. Hey, it's a nice one too. Riley Greenspot getting a parallel here at the end. You see that? Yeah, that is a super duper. One of one opulence on card auto. This could be like Mike Trout. Like I know Mike Trout's one of the guys that has autos in this. If this is, I don't know who else is on the checklist, but it's not just, um, it's not just uh, prospects on the opulence auto. Come on. Let me pull some nasty, like, $20,000 card right now. Or should I save it till the end? You guys want me to save it till the last? No, I want to mess with him in chat. <laughs> no, gotta do it. I got to do it. All right, let's see who we got. Let's see who we got. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Corbin Carroll. What? Oh. What? 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 Yeah. what? Oh, man. That is it. That is definitely the biggest card I have ever pulled in my entire freaking life. Holy crap. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Corbin Carroll spot. I hope you love me here at, uh, and all of us here at Hobby Legends. Oh my God. Wow. Woo. 
I know, right? <laughs> Woo! I wonder if that's an expensive card. I wonder if that goes for a lot of money. Oh my goodness. You know, and the best part is too, is when the Corbin Carroll spot sees that card, he's gonna like either spit out what he's drinking, fall over on the couch. Oh my goodness. Pro mold my that does not fit this card. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful piece of artwork indeed. Holy crap. Sorry guys. But yeah, that's a nope, that doesn't fit in there right. I wonder what's going on. Wow. So this feels like an actual like it's a thicker card though. Like a little bit wider or something, but it's not because it's not fitting in their little pro mold thing the way it should. But I want it to fit in this top loader inside of a sleeve. I do not want to. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's just really snug because it's a thicker card. Wow, 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 wow. End in the year on an absolute monstrous card. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Corbin Carroll, Super Fractor. Wow. Yeah. We just did that here at Hobby Legends to end the year. That's right. That is right. That's what we did to end the year for somebody. Congratulations to the Corbin Carroll spot. It don't get no better than that. Oh man, I wish this was my card. Look at this card. <laughs> I'm like, man, I wish. I, he's the one guy that out of all the products I've opened this year, I have not found a senior Corbin Carroll auto. Not one. So the one I do find, this is the first one I've pulled too. I don't think I've pulled any out of any breaks, have I? Yeah. Maybe one. I, you pulled a lot of them, yeah, but that absolutely massive. Hey, I wonder if uh, um, what you call it? Oh, we got another opulence auto in this pack. Ian, if you can hear me out there, Ian, in the land of. Sports card, Sterling Silver Tovar, nothing on the Tovar spot until right there. And another Opulence Auto. Wow, that one's Rafaela to 99 on the Sedane Rafaela. Very beautiful card here on this Opulence Auto. Bo Naylor and Cole Young. Ian from If Sports, if you're listening, I did that. <laughs> I did that. Corbin Carroll. Ow. And it's a color match, too. They've got, like, the cream jerseys on in the back. Um. Oh, yeah, they're wearing the uh, City Connect, the Serpentines jerseys. That is super cool. Wave Auto to 125, but the number's over here for some odd reason. Three out of 125, uh, Paulino spot. So the Red Sox are definitely taking down this box. Well, besides that. Nice Edison Paulino to 125. That's so cool, and it was the very last box. Because <laughs> if we had pulled that, like, at the very beginning of the break, it kind of would have, like, you know, I think sullied the entire break, whereas now you got this at the very end. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Like, a massive, awesome card to pull. Speckle to 99 for the Ivan Herrera spot and base ink of Abel Bastidas. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, definitely the biggest card I've ever pulled. And last mini box of the break and then comes like our hour long recap. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a long recap. Come on, can we pull a Spencer Steer? 
Come on, let this be a steer on the mini diamond to 150. Nah, it's a Cunha. But the Brian Acuna spot has not seen anything either. So at least it is a spot that's new. And then Speckle to 99 on the ink. Of course, another Cabrera. We can't find you the one you want, but we'll find you every other one. And Beck and Holiday. So, yeah, Nutsoid product. What a way to end the year. Oh my goodness. Whew, that's nasty. Oh, for once, the top loader has a bigger bow than the card. <laughs> that's very interesting. I've never seen a top loader bow like that. You know, I'm not going to mess with this one. It's just like not opening. There we go. Gotcha. Got him. We're going to set up this recap. Right, Josh? It don't get bigger than that in this product, I don't think. Would you say that's probably the biggest card in this product? Guys? Probably. I mean, maybe his... His actual rookie auto, but I, I don't know. I would say it's pretty close to on par. Uh, Lowest numbers over there to the left. left, to left to right, and then from left to right numbered stuff, and yeah. this is all the base? Okay. Oh. And that, that one too. too. My speckle stack. Uh, last card. Last cards stack. in this one? Okay, perfect. All right, so here's <laughs> that's our tray of autos. <laughs> So, we just saw it in the last box, the hit of the break, the lowest numbered auto. Absolutely massive and beautiful. Yeah, they've got the City Connect jersey on in this picture. So, it's a cream color that matches. I mean, uh, there's nothing else to say about this amazing card that I'm holding in my hand right now. Uh, congratulations to the Corbin Carroll spot. I mean, sheesh. Phenomenal card right there. On the Corbin Carroll one of one Super Fractor Opulence Auto. Nasty, nasty card. And we're going to let him hang out there through the rest of this showcase. Rest of our numbered autos. Good lord. <laughs> Next lowest was the black Lava to 10, Gavin Cross. Then we had one Rose Gold to 15 of Tucker Toman. Our blue autos to 25, we had Rafaela and Montez. Golds to 50, we had Vaquero, Cabrera, Ellie, De Los Santos, and Alex Ramirez. Oranges to 75, we had Fanas, Munoz, Bolt, Fanas number two, Paguero, Beck, Eric Brown. Our opulence autos to 99, we had Brooks Lee, Rafaela, Gutierrez. Speckles to 99, we had Xavier Isaac. Oh, we had two Xavier Isaacs. Uh, Diane Jorge, Arroyo, Montez, Parada, Mejia, and we just saw the Cabrera. And then we start off into, oh no, this is an Opulence Auto to 99 as well of Drew Jones. We'll put him over there. Our number to 100 and above, we had a nice Sterling Silver of Caminero, Gavin Cross, Toman, Zach Neto, Edgar Cuero, William Bergola, Burleson, and Mejia. Our waves to 125, we had Crawford, Bastidas, Parada, Arroyo, Parada number two, Beck, Paulino, Pasquantino, Piguero, Rafaela, Juan. Uh, this is a sterling silver, this is to 100. And so is this, Drew Jones and Justin Crawford. Those are both numbered to 100. Uh, and Refractors to 150, we had Brooks Lee, Montesino, Bastidas, Cabrera, Bergola, Mejia, Gutierrez, Green, Beck, Paulino, and finally Cole Young. Uh, 
Uh, I just numbered cards, Lenny, I think. But we'll get to those in a minute. And I don't even want to go through the base autos. Everybody got three base autos at least. No. <laughs> Ton of base autos, you guys. So uh, hold on to your hats for this one. We got Bastidas, Beltre, Bergola, De Los Santos, Brown, Mikey Harris, Finas, Jorge, Romero, Martinez, Gonzalez, Merrill, Mercedes, Montes, Tavares, Paulino, Parada, Juan, Cuero, Young, Fernandez, Ramirez, Toman, Delauder, Martinez, Gonzalez, Montez, Romero, Fanas, Merrill, Williams, Mercedes, Don Cone, Figueroa, Zavala, Baez, Don Cone, Cabrera, Pasquantino, Bastidas, Figuero, Tavares, Auer, Beltre, Camanero, Crawford, Bolt, Beltre, Chorillo, Auer, Brown, Mercedes, Paul, Paula, and Jorge. That's just the first two stacks. Hold on. I got two more. Oh, man. Young, Montesino, Arroyo, DeLauder, Juan, Parada, Mejia, Toman, Ron Doncone, Cabrera, Zavala, Gutierrez, Chorillo, Bolt, Crawford, Bastidas, De Paula, Paulino, Gilbert, Williams, Bolt, Bergola, Arroyo, De Los Santos, Cross, Montesino, Munoz, Jorge, Rada, Auer, Munoz, Ramirez, Cuero, and Cross, and Cross. And last stack of base autos, Drew Jones, Chorillo, Brown, Gilbert, Merrill, Fanas, Cross, Crawford, Montez, Martinez, Bolt, Gonzalez, Gilbert, Romero, Paulino, Juan, Mejia, Figuerero, Bastidas, Cuero, Bergola, Parada, Fernandez, Paulino, De Paula, Cabrera, Tavares, De Los Santos, Gutierrez, Ramirez, Rada, and finally Zavala. Woo! That was a lot of base autos. <coughs> I'm like out of breath now. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> And I drank my last bit of water. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's put the autos off to the side and get to our numbered stuff. It's funny, the numbered stuff is like half the size of the autos. It's pretty, pretty comical. Lowest numbered parallel was to 10, and it was Nolan Gorman not once, but twice. You got it. Two Nolan Gorman black lavas to 10. Congratulations to the Gorman spot. And a nasty Mikey Harris on the Rose Gold High Tech. <clears throat> a lot of spots in here did phenomenal. Bobby Witt spot on the Blue High Tech to 25. Uh, our other 25s, these on refractors, we had Velasquez, Chorillo, Muncie. Golds to 50, we had Wood, Ramirez, Bergola, Green, Herrera, D.L. Hall, Caminero, Stowers. Magentas to 75, we had Zach Neto, Jordan Walker, Adley Rutschman, Mejia, Green, Munoz, Spencer Jones, Shea Langoliers, Jackson Merrill, and Oscar Gonzalez. And we'll get to the next set of stuff. To 99, you had High Techs, Ellie De La Cruz, and Riley Green. Speckles to 99, we had Brooks Lee. Zavala. There's a Peraza right there for you, Lenny. To 99. Grissom. Neto. Baez. Dominguez. Rutschman. Munoz. Meyer. Herrera. Crawford. Green. Sterling Silvers to 100. Tovar. Hall. Grisham. Freeman. Crawford. Jones. Merrill. Dominguez. Gutierrez. Holiday. Montez. And Mikey Romero. Our mini diamonds to 150, we had Stowers, Freeman, Alvarez, Ruiz, Jorge, Montgomery, Acuna, Paguero, Volpe, Arias, Outman, Rada, Casas, Velasquez, Cruz, Cavalli, <clears throat> Nolan Gorman. There's another Peraza right there, Lenny. This one to 150. 
Groshans, Vargas, and Young. And our last stack here is going to be our refractors. Our last stack, refractors to 199, we've got Montgomery, Groshans, Velasquez, Jorge, Collier, Libertor, Lee, Green, House, Henderson, Rocker, Zavala, Beatty, Corbin, Stewart, Morell, Jones, Mejia, Langoliers, Cartaya, Jones, Senga, Ruiz, Gonzalez, Walker, and finally Christian Vaquero. And that is going to wrap up this break, this day, and this year, everyone. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for hanging out with us all year. Thanks for hanging out with us all the time. We love having you in the breaks. We love having you in the chat. Um, feel free. Uh, we will be back again on Tuesday, the day after. So the second, we're going to be breaking, what is it, uh, 10 cases of Inception. Uh, a player break of Inception, those auctions will end on Monday. So if you want to grab a player, you saw our Inception break earlier. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but special shout out again to the Corbin Carroll spot. Uh, it don't get no better than this, my man or woman. This, this is what you're searching for every time you get into a break. And I'm very excited that I could pull it for you. Um, absolute monstrosity of a card and it's beautiful to boot. Um, our no purchase necessary sweepstakes is open to all legal residents of the 50 U.S. states and District of Columbia and Canada, excluding Quebec. It's available to all adults age 18 and over. Void outside the 50 U.S. states and Canada where prohibited. The sweepstakes started on the 1st of December and ends tomorrow. The odds will depend on the number of eligible entries. There is a limit of eight household entries. For, fill, for full official rules, please visit uh, binkd.co, eBay Baseball 6, sponsored in part by eBay Incorporated, San Jose, California. As always, the link for that is in the description of our video, as in every single one of our videos for the eBay uh, rules. And uh, yeah, nothing else I need to say. Have a great day. Enjoy your new year, everybody. Uh, we will see you next year. Thanks a lot, and 